Okay, so the next one. Now we are on question four. The molecule cyanazine, once used as a herbicide, has now been phased out by the EPA because of its significant human toxicity. Add lone pairs as needed to the structure of cyanazine. Also indicate the hybridization of the specified atoms. So first I'm just going to write down the structure given for cyanazine. a very large structure, so bear with me. Green. So this is the full structure of cyanazine. And the first part of the question wants us to add lone pairs. So I'm just going to add them for our nitrogen groups. Let's give lone pairs all around. So that's for all of the nitrogens. I'll write it all this for the chlorine as well. So that looks about right. And then I'm going to number my carbons the same way they did in, oh, sorry. Yeah, my carbons and nitrogens the same way they did in the question. So this was one, two, Three, four, and five. So next I'm just going to write down a way that I try to remember uh, different hybridizations. So for this question, I'm just going to write down the three that we're looking at, sp3. SP2 and SP. So with SP3 hybridization, your atom is connected to four charge clouds. So basically a charge cloud can mean either a lone pair of electrons or it can mean like a bond to another atom. SP2, three charge clouds, and SP is two charge clouds. I'm just going to say charge clouds and be either a lone pair or an atom. So first, let's look at our first nitrogen. It has one, two, three atoms and also one lone pair. So that means it has four charge clouds. And this nitrogen is sp3. For number two, this nitrogen has one, two atoms and one lone pair, so that means it has three charge clouds in total. So that nitrogen is sp2. Next, let's look at this carbon. 
of one, two, three atoms. So this carbon is also sp2. For four, you have one, two, three, four atoms. This is sp3. And lastly, for this last carbon, there's only one, two charge clouds. And this is sp hybridization. So another thing I notice, um, if you don't want to do this charge cloud way, is that basically if there's single bonds involved, it's sp3. With double bonds, it's sp2. And with sp, it's uh, triple bonds. Now let's look at our answer. They drew in all of the lone pairs in the right places. Lone pair in three bonds, sp3, sp2, sp2, sp3, and sp. So this solution is correct.